What's up, mermaids? Welcome back to our channel. And for today's video, it's all about feminine care once again. And para sa video natin sa araw na ito, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa pag pile ng tamang feminine wash for you. So kung interesado kayo malaman about this, guys, please keep on watching. Thank you so much, my mermaids, for staying with me. So ayan, diretso na tayo sa ating video. Sa totoo lang, mermaids, hindi lang naman yung question of choosing the right product, choosing the right feminine wash for you ang dapat nating pag-usapan. Unang-una, yung paggamit ng feminine wash sa ating private part should be used with caution. Kasi nga, very sensitive yan, guys. Kapag excessive yung gamit natin, pwedeng masira yung pH balance ng ating private part down there and mag-cause ng mga infection, ganyan, madi-disrupt siya sa pagkakaroon ng mga irritation. Of course, guys, meron akong personal preference na mga feminine wash na ginagamit ko. Pero, sa tinagal-tagal kong gumamit ng mga gantong produkto, I actually rounded up to two products na pwede kong ma-recommend sa inyo. Pero bago ko ipakita yun, guys, um, ano nga ba yung mga dapat nating hanapin kapag pumipili tayo ng product or feminine wash para sa atin, guys? Mayroong mga key ingredients na dapat tayong hanapin. Unang-una, lactic acid. Lactic acid is um, some kind of milk na um, it keeps the bacteria away from our private part. It actually prevents yun nga yung mga infection. So, kapag pipili ka ng yung feminine wash, check mo muna yung ingredients guys kung meron siyang lactic acid. Kasi malaki yung matutulong yan sa iyo talaga sa paglilinis ng yung private part. It maintains the pH level of our vagina. Also, it maintains the acidic environment around our vagina that actually um, doesn't allow any bacteria to grow. Isa pang ingredient na dapat nating hinahanap sa ating mga feminine wash is glycerin. So, glycerin Glycerin attracts moisture to our skin. So, kung meron kang vaginal dryness, itching, maganda yung mga feminine wash na meron glycerin kasi it keeps our vagina hydrated and moisturized. Third ingredient, sodium laurel sulfate naman, guys. It actually prevents bacteria and dirt coming near our vagina. So, uh, maganda para siyang, ano, para siyang gladiator ng ating vagina. Parang ganon. So, walang makakalapit na bacteria and dumay kapag meron yung ingredient na yan. Imagine nyo yung ating vagina na yung Colosseum, tapos yung sodium laurel sulfate, yung mga gladiator. So, pag mayroong mga gustong pumasok dun sa kingdom, na mga bacteria, mga dirt, sila yung mga lumalaban. Imagine yung may espada, gano'n. So, nilalabanan nila yan at hindi sila makakapasok. So, safe na safe ang ating Colosseum slash vagina. So, ayun nga, mermaids, yun lang yung mga quick tips ko sa pagpili ng ingredients, yung top three ingredients that we should look for when we're buying um, feminine wash. Pero, syempre, isa sa pinaka-importante nating tatandaan is the smell of your feminine wash, guys. Use unscented ones or yung very mild lang yung kanyang scent kasi the more na may fragrant siya, the more na mas marami siyang chemicals in its ingredients. And syempre, kapag maraming chemicals, hindi maganda yan sa pH level ng ating vagina. At syempre, mermaids, kapag na-disrupt ang ating pH level sa ating vagina, it can lead to irritation, pangangate, yung mga infection. So, ayaw nating mangyari yan, guys. As much as possible, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, um, choose mild scented or unscented feminine wash. Kasi minsan, akala natin, pag inamoy natin siya sa grocery, pag bibili tayo, di ba, ay, ang bango. So, yun na automatically yalagay natin sa ating cart at yun na yung ating feeling natin kapag hinugasan natin ng ating vagina yung feminine wash na yun dahil mabango, fresh at mabango ka na ote. Pero hindi guys, it's not up to the fragrance actually ng feminine wash. It's up to the ingredients and how mild the fragrance is. So, yun naman, how often should you wash your vagina with the feminine wash guys? So, ako personally, twice a day. So, in the morning or after maligo, before ako lumabas ng bahay, or do some errands, go to school, or work, ganyan. Or kahit wala lang gagawin, nasa bahay lang ako. Pagkatapos kong maligo, I will use my feminine wash. And then, yun nga, kapag magpipi ako, in the middle of the day, I just wipe it with tissue. Make sure to pat it dry. Make sure na hindi siya may iwang, uh, may may iwang basa. Dahil kapag, yun nga, kapag excessive yung moisture sa ating vagina, it attracts more bacteria. So, ayun. And make sure to wipe your vagina from front to back para maiwasan natin mga infection like UTI. Kasi, syempre, di ba, malapit yung ating vaginal holes, ating anal hole. So, ayun nga, guys, pwedeng malagyan ng bacteria yung ating um, vagina. That's why it did cause, you know, mga infection. So, make sure to remember that when you're wiping your vagina with tissue or wet tissue front to back para maiwasan natin mga infection. And then at night, before I go to bed, I also wash my vagina with feminine wash. So, yun, twice a day. And... 
I'm proud to say, wala naman akong na-experience ng mga irritation, mga infection, because I take care of my private part very well, actually, guys. Very, ano kasi ako eh, yung OC ako pagdating sa mga bagay na yan. So, ayun nga, it's the time of the video where I will show you my two favorite feminine wash that I use. Yung isa dito na recommend ng aking OBGYN, it's the brand Lactacid. So, ayan, Lactacid Odor Block 24-Hour Protection. So, ayan, favorite variant ko yan from this brand. And this has milk extract. So, meron siyang lactic acid. And it's also made from plant extract. So, hindi siya more on chemicals. That's why I love it. And the smell of this feminine wash is so mild. Actually, ito yung binao namin ni Zing when we went to Europe. Nilagay namin sa maliliit na bottles. Pinagkasya namin for 3 weeks na nandun kami. Kasi it really keeps you fresh all day. Yun yung mahalaga sa akin sa mga feminine wash dahil active nga yung lifestyle namin. Like, kung saan-saan kami na pupunta ni Zing and marami kami mga meetings and errands, ganun. I need the feminine wash. It will keep me feel fresh all day. Kasi di ba parang medyo hindi maganda sa pakiramdam na parang feeling mo mabantot na yung area mo doon, di ba? So, pipili ka ng feminine wash na kahit naihi ka na ihi, ganyan, buong araw ka lang nasa labas, feeling fresh pa rin yung ating private part. And this one does the job. Actually, ito rin yung brand na recommend sa akin ng aking OBGYN, si Dr. Javier. So, sa kanya ako nagpapacheck ng aking private part. Lactacid daw, yung pinakamagandang gamitin natin na feminine wash. Ayan, guys, if you haven't tried um, lactacid yet, it's time for you to try it. Baka maging hiyang din siya sa inyo. And, yeah, try this one guys, yung odor block ng lactacid. Ang ganda talaga niya. Before yung ginagamit namin is yung, ano eh, yung minodal ni Anne Curtis, yung kulay yellow. Ano nga ba yung ano nun, babe? I forgot the, I forgot the name of the variant. Pero color yellow yung parang flowers-flowers niya. But it's not, parang I think hindi na siya makita sa grocery ngayon pag hinahanap namin. The next product naman na favorite kong ginagamit guys is this one. Yung Scion Feminine Wash from New Skin. This one is 380 pesos for 250 ml. So, medyo malaki na siya, guys. And very, very nice because yung ingredients yan nakalagay dito, water, merong sodium laurel, either sulfate. So, check na yun. Lactic acid as well. So, dalawa sa main ingredients na sinabi ko kanina, meron itong sayon. And actually, mas mabango siya. Mas may fragrance siya kaysa dun sa ating odor block. Pero I don't know why guys, um, very very mild yun sa aking vagina. And it really keeps me fresh all day as well. So ginagawa ko, sabi kasi nila ba kapag yung mga katulad nating armpit, ganyan, yung mga deodorant natin, we should also change once in a while para hindi nasasana yung bacteria sa ating kilikili or sa ating vagina. So ginagawa ko is, alternately ko silang ginagamit. Itong dalawa kong favorite na feminine wash of lactacid and the cyan one. So, depende na lang kung ano yung mood ko for that day. Pero, if I have my period, I prefer this one. Ito yung ginagamit ko when I'm on my monthly period kasi mas natatanggal niya talaga yung yung um, odor. Siyempre, di ba kapag meron tayong period, medyo malansa siya. So, ito. This one is what I prefer for those days. And mermaids, siyempre, pag meron tayong monthly period, we should be extra careful or extra clean sa ating vagina. China. Hindi ko sinasabi na extra clean na every time magpapalit ka ng pad, every time iihi ka, is magpe-feminine wash ka. Huwag niyong gagawin yun, guys. Kasi, syempre, katulad nung sabi ko kanina, the more chemicals you put in your vagina, the more prone you are na ma-disrupt yung pH level ng yung vagina, magkaroon ng infection and irritation, pangangate, ganyan, guys. So, if you have your monthly period, pwede kang mag-wash ng yung vaginal area ng water and keep it dry. And kung hindi ka talaga comfortable, siguro pwede mo gawin 3 times a day yung pag-wash mo with your feminine wash. Pero huwag kang susobra dun, guys. Kasi ako, before na-try ko na yun, hugas ako ng hugas ng feminine wash yun. Nangati yung aking vagina and namula siya because yun nga, syempre, excessive chemicals. That's it, mermaid. Sana meron ako na ibahagi sa inyo. Again, may natutunan na naman tayo sa ating feminine care video for today. Please drop your questions and comments down below. I love reading all of your comments and I really try my best na masagot yung mga tanong ninyo by doing a video like this. Alam ko naman, marami talaga sa atin, guys, ang may problema sa ating vaginal part, tamang pag-shave, um, ganito yung kulay ng ating discharge, ganun. Marami ako nababasa at minimessage nyo rin ako directly through my social media handles. And I assure you guys na kapag meron talaga akong time, I read all of those and I try my best to help you out. So, please just drop your comments down below. I'll try to read them and answer them one by one. 
and also do a video if I can kung meron na ako nakalap na information about that. So ayun guys, um, taking care of our vagina is very very important. Especially kasi syempre very close sa atin yan. And konting mga tilang yan, meron lang discharge na hindi natin gusto yung amoy or hindi natin gusto yung kulay. Medyo nag-worry na tayo guys. But this is one advice that I always say every time I do videos like this. Kung meron ka na talagang mga hindi mo ma-explain na nangyayari sa yung vaginal part, like sobrang katina niya, and merong discharge na hindi mo gusto, please go to a doctor, especially an OBGYN, kasi sila talaga yung makakapagsabi sa inyo kung ano ang tapat mong gawin sa mga problema ngayon, guys. Kasi yung mga home remedies na yan, we can only do it for like a few days, at pag hindi pa rin talaga siya gumana, you should see your doctor, kasi pwedeng lumalayan, guys. And pag mas malala, mas mahirap i-treat. So, always be maalap when it comes to your feminine care. That concludes our video for today, mermaids. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I love you all and God bless. Bye!